Hi, sports fans. Welcome to Holmes County Tickets. Check it out. Our version of uh, all the important things that are coming up in this week's sports world. It's kind of a preview and a little bit of insight into what you could be seeing and be watching uh, with our local teams here with West Holmes and Highland. So uh, I'm here with my cohort, Paul Money. How you doing? We're going to jump right in with our first game of the week this week. It's Tuesday. The West Holmes Knights soccer team taking on Oroville a team that, uh, that they can certainly compete with. Yeah, this is going to be a game finally on their schedule where they're going to feel like they can take advantage of Orville, um, do some things that they do better offensively, and, and you know score some goals. I mean, they, they got to start finding the net here um, before the conference tournament starts and before their sectional tournament starts, and this will be a, a good start to that. You know, I think all the, all the pieces really are in place for them to be successful. It's just a matter of them learning how to do so and how to win games. Yeah, you got Logan Gowden in goal and Chase Campbell up top as their main striker. Um, Derek Roll, their only senior, is a real nice midfield. They've kind of moved him from a, a midfielder role back to a defender. Now he's back in a midfielder role. When he's in that midfield, um, that he's able to create a little more offense for the Knights. Um, so that should help them definitely against Orville. Yeah, that certainly would be one to watch and get out and support the Knights because that, that's, that's going to be a big game for them. Yep. So on Thursday, then we see Highland Golf going to the IBC tournament, and then on Saturday they have their district tournament. How you see them faring in those two uh, two big dates? Uh, it's obviously it's an important time for for Austin Kaufman's crew to really kind of step up their game. Uh, they've done pretty well this season. They've had a few minor mishaps, but all in all, it's been a pretty successful season for them so far. This particular week is going to be huge for them because of that Thursday-Saturday contest. Garraway will also be there. Obviously, they have a lot to prove going up against a team of that caliber. Um, but these are two places where I think they can really, they, they feel like they can step up and show everybody that, that they can compete to go well into the tournament run. Mm -hmm. Good. Also on Thursday, we've got the West Holmes Golf Knights going into the OCC tournament. And, and here's a team that has really struggled with consistency all season long. They've got the talent there to go play, and at different times, different guys have played well, but they really haven't had a lot of consistent play, and it's, it's time in the season now where they've really got to step up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like they're probably at a time where they can just pull it all together, be competitive in the OCC tournament, so make sure you check that out. Yeah, it certainly would be a great time to do that. Mm -hmm. um, we'll move into the soccer realm, also on Thursday, September 19th, Highland boys will face a Chippewa team that has perennially been really tough for them to handle. Yeah, and I think everyone looks at Chippewa as being kind of a Wayne County League team, and you know Highland has played a lot of good, um, good teams, that, you know, leading up to this game, and, and you cannot overlook Chippewa. No, they they're going to play tough. They they play strong. They play fast. Um, the biggest thing about Chippewa too is they talk on the field. They're really good at communication, and in high school sports, not even soccer, in high school sports that can be a big difference. Yeah, Chirpawa. Chirpawa. Like. <laughs> Chirps. But they, but they are, and in last year's game, Highland got beat by Chippewa, and it really kind of turned their season around. I know Coach Boddicker would rather prefer to get a win and turn their season around and get them going. But Chippewa is always very physical, and, and they like to push you around and kind of try and intimidate you. So it's a good matchup for Highland. It should be an exciting game. Yeah, that's, that's a great tune-up for them to get ready for their sectional, absolutely. Yeah. Um, also on Thursday, September 19th, it will be the West Holmes volleyball team at Madison to avenge an earlier loss. Yeah, you know, they uh, Coach Park really wasn't quite sure what he had coming into the season with a bunch of sophomores. They found out pretty quickly that this group can play, and even though they've struggled recently, their last two losses, uh, this is a game that I think that they all feel that they can win. And Madison's one of those teams that's it, they're one of the favorites in the in the OCC, but I don't think that West Holmes needs to take a back seat to anybody. They're that good. Yeah, absolutely. And Coach Park did say after the Madison game that he felt that that was a team that they they could beat. They played well against Madison. They were in each game. They led two or three of those games that they lost. Um, so absolutely, they should be in this game 100%, and and that should propel them, you know, higher into the conference rankings, hopefully. Absolutely, and it's one that they want to get back on the winning track with as well. Yep. Just get back that winning feel. Um, we'll stay on a roll here with Madison. We'll go into yeah. Friday's football game. West Holmes, I think, finally has an opponent who is going to give them trouble because of their size and athleticism. And, and Madison gave them a great game last year, so we expect a fantastic ball game Friday. 
Yeah, I mean, Madison is finally that, like you said, that first game. We've had these kind of three tune-ups coming into the to the conference schedule. Um, Coach Maltras goes back to play against his old team. I don't know if there's still any rivalry uh, going in there, but um, I really look for West Holmes to come out and play well. One thing they're going to have to do is, you know, you know they're going to have to have that special teams ready. Last year, Madison was able to run back a couple touchdowns on kickoffs and had a couple of their long runs. Yeah. So it's time to wrap up and, and arm tackle those guys. You know, the positive that they've got right now is with the success that they've had early in these first three games, it has been anybody and everybody that's been doing the scoring. So how does Madison try and stop that many scoring threats? Oh it, it becomes a tough chore because you just can't throw yourself out there and say we're going to key on Lane Perrone or we're going to key on, on Brady Arnold. There are so many weapons there that it makes it very difficult to defend West Holmes. Yeah, absolutely. And, and against Riverview, too, you know, Riverview put a bunch of guys in the box right from the get-go at the start of the game. Coach Maltritz actually threw the ball a few <laughs> Didn't times quite work. <laughs> early in the game um, and got, you know, got a couple big touchdowns play. They finally ran that play down the seam to the tight end to Levi Jones, and it was successful. So, uh, yeah, very dangerous team, and uh, Madison will have their hands full. And the fact that it's at Madison makes it even that much tougher because it's, it's very difficult to go over there and, and get a W. Yep, especially in the conference. I mean, any win in the, in, in the OCC is going to be a big one. Absolutely. And that takes us into Saturday where we've got uh, some cross-country action. We'll have uh, West Holmes at the Malone Invitational. That is, if you haven't seen the, the Knights run this year, they've really performed well. Um, both the girls and the guys have been highly successful. And what's made the girls so good is their depth up front. They've got four terrific runners. Um, you know, Emily Molnar kind of leads the way there. Mm -hmm. She's a spectacular runner, just a great athlete. But they've got the two Alexis's, uh, Elliot and Candle, yep. who have always continued to perform well and have always been there right behind Emily. And the Lady Knights also have the addition of young freshman Michelle Hostetler, who's really brought a new dimension to that team. She's already performing great, which has really helped kind of secure their depth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that depth is just going to add to the expectations for them to do high, you know, have high goals going into the into the tournament, into the postseason. Absolutely. And you know, the guys, on the other hand, have performed well, and I think better than a lot of people figured. They lost four key contributors from last year's team, and I think a lot of people saw them kind of sliding. But they haven't. They've had kids really step up and fill those roles, those key roles. J.R. Yoder's performed well. Philip Shafters has stepped up his game. And freshman Vinny DeFelice has really also added a, a real dimension to that team that, that's helped them immensely because Sam Boyd's their obvious number one. Vinny has already slid into the number two spot there, really, as their runners, so he's he's done well. Yeah, and I think the same with the with the girls, with the boys. There's you know some expectations that they can move along in the postseason. And Vinny D. Felice is just an awesome sports name. Um, <laughs> sounds like a closer coming out of the uh, Cardinals bullpen. So, <laughs> you know, speaking of cross country, Highland will also be in action yeah. on Saturday. They'll be at Sandy Valley running there. Uh, they continue to get better and better. Uh, Darian Pakula finished eighth at the Dover Invitational, a gritty, hard course, very difficult course, finished eighth there. You know, Coach Fowler's kids love to run the hills because they practice on them all the time, so they should be pretty used to them. Uh, but they've gotten better and better too, so they're, they're still kind of looking for that fifth one to round out the team, but don't overlook them when it comes to tournament time too. Yeah. Awesome. Well, that's a look at some of the sports in our area this week. There's plenty more to see, so make sure you get out to your local venues and, and support your teams. I'm Paul Money. That's Dave Mast, and this has been Check It Out.